What is up guys, Blade Angel here, and today we're gonna be playing some Asphalt 8 multiplayer. So I hardly do multiplayer on this channel, but this is a game that I feel confident enough in my abilities to play multiplayer with. And that's probably because at one point in time I was one of the best players in this game. I was actually an Asphalt channel before it became an actual car channel for my main channel, but I don't like to talk about it. Those were the most wasteful times of my life. I, I can't believe I actually slaved away and took pride in being an asphalt player because I didn't get paid for it. I mean, it was just, it was completely just a pride thing. And I didn't make nearly enough money on YouTube back then. It was stupid. Like, oh my gosh. It was really, really, because I actually had a channel before Blade Angel. Like, I had only, probably only my 15 of my subscribers actually knows, but I had a channel called ZFW before Blade Angel. And that was a channel I ended up deleting. <laughs> but that was my old asphalt channel. So. I don't like to, and that was actually my old asphalt username. Then I changed it to Blade Angel and I rebranded to just a car channel, and you know, here we are today. Uh, well, I deleted my previous channel, and you know what? Who cares about my history with this game? It's a garbage game, that's all you need to know. And what really pisses me off, though, I guess, is whenever you look up Blade Angel or Kartaku, the, one of the most searched results is Blade Angel Asphalt 8 or Kartaku Asphalt 8. Like, People are still expecting me to come back to this game. There is a hacker. That dude 100% is hacking. Like, he's not see how fat. He's so ridiculously bad that I just wrecked him somehow. But that was, he ran into the wall. So even what, you guys saw that. He legit is hacking. Like, that's, he went so fast. He just shot, and there he is. He's coming back. And, but that's just so pathetic that he was, he, that he still ran into a wall and I wrecked him. Like, I don't know about you, but that's a victory in my book. Like, that's really pathetic, but. There goes the hacker, and there he wins. That's another reason why I quit this game, is like, yeah, it's just, I can't even blame people for hacking, because it's such a pay-to-win piece of shit game. His nemesis isn't even Max Pro, either. I mean, I guess that's to, like, avoid suspicion, but in my opinion, that makes it even more suspicious. If he, if he should hack, he should make it Max Pro, that way people don't bat an eye as much. Because, like, people are, they know that if you're gonna lose in a car of that rank, it's kind of obvious. Oh boy, do you guys like seeing the same track again, except instead of reverse, it's the front? I'm gonna have to, because the meta for this car is, is acceleration, because this, this San Diego's a very acceleration-heavy track, and this car specializes in acceleration, as well as handling, its top speed isn't that great. And the Aston Martin Vulcan, obviously, is one of the best cars in this game. I never got around to buying one, and never owned one, and don't care. I just don't care about the Aston Martin Vulcan, will never ever buy one, that's the end of that, I guess. There's an MP431, so... I wonder how that's going to go. There's also a Corvette, but I don't think he's going to do that well because they have a great top speed, but their acceleration is ass, and that for a track like this, that's kind of the focus. So there's not many opportunities for the Corvette to get its straight line speed on this track because its handling is just too garbage. I mean, it's still a great car. I, I never got, I almost did the EDD for the Corvette, but I, the, the Enduro double down for the Corvette came at a time where it was like the problem with being in, not the problem, I should say. The thing with being in university is that there's a lot of exams, obviously, and at certain times of the semester, you're more busy than the other, which made Asphalt 8 just a, such a horrible game to play because it's a lot of the things in Asphalt 8 are time limited. Whereas, like, other racing games like Forza and whatnot, I mean, I guess Forza's Forza Thon, but it doesn't stress you out as much. Like, Enduro Double Down forces you to take, like, seven days of, like, three three hours of play or something. Whereas, like, Forza Thon, you can beat the entire Forza Thon event in, like, two hours. <laughs> and, like, you don't have to, and it doesn't stretch across several days. That's it. Like, you just do it. I mean, it, the event does, but you know what I mean? Like, the event stretches across several days, but you can play it at your own pace. Whereas, like, with Enduro Double Down, and especially R&D, I hate R&D. And for this game, stuff like R&D, they're, they're, they force you to invest a lot of time in the game and also possibly real life money, which fortunately I've never had that issue, but it does piss me off because there were a lot of things that I sacrificed in my life to get good at this game. Like my grades definitely dropped and it was stupid. Like playing this game gives me a sense of nostalgia. If it sounds like I'm bitching, it's really not because as you can see, I, I'm a good player. I actually like at one point in time, I ranked top 10s in almost all the TLEs. I, go watch my Lamborghini Aventador video of this. I show a screenshot of a lot of where I placed in most TLEs. Like, I'm so glad I abandoned it because this is that's why it still kind of haunts me like I want the identity to just be buried forever and me playing this game again doesn't help but that's because for the people who are searching I hope you guys watch this video I quit this fucking game it's terrible and stop trying to expect me to come back like it's so fucking garbage and th oh there goes the hacker oh boy like that's just proof of how garbage this game is and by the way since the hacker since I have him on recording and I'm a decently popular channel he probably just got his ass banned because you guys can just look up his name. <laughs> so that's his own problem, but I, I feel like 
I mean, not, not I feel like. A lot of people know Gameloft's a pretty eh, company. Like, they're never gonna sponsor me now. I'm 100% okay with that. <laughs> actually, no. They actually did approach, not for uh, Asphalt, but it was for another one of the games they made. But on my main channel, they did approach me for a sponsorship. And I was like, nope, fuck you. And I believe one of these is a hacker, because if I'm correct, uh, they were orange. And he, he finished the race by the time I left the other one. So he could be playing coy, because I feel like... I feel like he doesn't start hacking until uh, until he kind until the race is like halfway through. But either way, I don't even care anymore. But like, I I never liked the Tri Nemesis as a car either, because the Tri Nemesis, if you don't know, is a shell car made by that never came into production, and they did really shady things to people before. So like, that's why it probably never will go into production. They kidnapped a YouTuber. Not gonna go into details to who it was or what happened because that it, a lot of legal reasons behind that. But I'm just gonna say it like that. You didn't hear it from me. Oh boy, I did not the flat spin there. I just did it for shits and giggles at that point. Okay, I guess he's not the hacker. And even if he is, I wonder if he'll be able to catch up to me in the time. Either I don't even care. We're just going to play this fucking game and enjoy it for what it is. <laughs> that's that's a joke. You can't enjoy this game. <laughs> There's nothing to enjoy about it. It's so stupid. Oh my gosh. It's just so fucking terrible. Like... It, the worst part is, I guess the worst part is this is actually like a fun game. Like, you know what? The mechanics are great. It's it's always been a fun game and it's more a very technical racing game. So unlike other arcade racing games, it feels less like a rhythm game and more like a tech technical game. Like a lot of its elements remind me of fighting games. For example, the nitrous button in this game is basically like the shield button in Super Smash Brothers. You use it for a lot of things. You can use it to cancel out of drifts. You can land on edges and fire off of it, but like as of edge canceling. You can also do a flat spin and then shoot nitrous again to cancel. Not to cancel, but to basically give your flat spin a little boost. Because if you just flat spin only, you normally lose speed. But if you flat spin and nitrous, it basically like breaks even with just doing regular airborne. Obviously doing barrel roll is always the fastest, so barrel rolling is faster than regular airborne, which is faster than flat spinning. And I still know all this fucking garbage because I used to study this game to death to get good at it. Uh, let's use a different car actually, but the grant sp uh, no, I already used the Venador. Let's use the homage. And someone tried to say it's pronounced homage. Well, in this game it's spelled with two M's because Fuck you, that's why <laughs> we're, we're rolling with it. But the BMW homage, I think that's because it's from Germany. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not German. I think they're still going to vote infected, but the good news is I'm in, in, I'm in an homage. So the cool thing about infected is it gives you infinite nitro. So it does nitro duration and nitro efficiency doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter also because they just ended up voting for classic. So we're okay. But also because Tokyo is a long track, so it makes more sense to use the homage instead of a the McLaren MP4 MP425, not 431. The MP425 I was using earlier, its top speed isn't that great. Although I'd love to use the Venador because the Venador has great nitrous duration, which makes it a cool track for Tokyo because it never runs out of nitrous. Oh god, I can't believe I still remember that stuff. This game gives, gives me nightmaric nostalgia. Like, whenever I, I try to avoid playing this game, because I hate it. And, like, you get stuck in the loop again. You start participating in TLEs and whatnot. Like, when I booted this game up, before I did this recording, I did the TLEs. Because it's a mobile game. It's designed to capture you in. Luckily, I no longer rely on it, and I'm such a happy person. Like, first off, thank you guys for viewing this video, because you guys as my viewers for YouTube definitely changed a lot of how I how I behaved as a person like being a YouTuber has given me a sense of pride but also a sense of meaning in life and just something that I enjoy doing and it's amazing that several thousands of people watch what I do and there's also a lot of Corvettes so oh wow that's I'm not winning this race there's also an Aston Martin Vulcan but he's actually not he doesn't have an advantage here like like they normally would because the Corvette is a it's a slow burn car like right now they're not doing so hot because uh, they're just they, they don't have very good acceleration, but they're gonna catch up on us to the point I'm probably gonna lose this race because if they're all Corvettes and the guy ahead of me is a Vulcan I think I can get ahead of the Vulcan which I just did just no wait no that it, it just lagged it, I thought I got ahead of him, but he just lagged temporarily. He's still ahead of me, but yeah, no, so I just what was I even on? Oh, yeah about how yeah, no, I don't need to play this game anymore because thanks to YouTube I've gotten, like, I'm prideful as a car guy. Like, this game used to be my pride. Because, like, human beings do stupid things for pride sometimes. And one of them is, like, being quote-unquote good at games. Oh, oh boy, Corvette. How, how'd that go? Wreck, trying to wreck me. Oh, boy. I'm doing terrible, but I don't even care. I'm, I'm out of nitrous. I should have gone for barrel rolls earlier, but I was just busy talking to y'all. You know, being thankful. Doing just YouTube things. And more importantly, what I was going to say, yeah, so... 
without with like a sense of pride being a car guy and being in a community that I love because being in an asphalt community was not a great community. It was pretty cutthroat. Interacting with other asphalt YouTubers was never that great. And not even the asphalt YouTubers. That's not where the problems stem. The problems stem from the community itself. So as you can see in this video, there are plenty of hackers and hackers aren't even the only reason this game is horrible. They're, it's just the fact that the company itself isn't that great. So that already that was already a bad thing. So the only thing this game had going for it was the fact that it's a fun game to play. And it was an easy game to access, but that was really it. Like once I, and the, at the time I played this game, I wasn't really, I was still in the fleeting phase of my car enthusiast phase. I was still fleeting. I was still kind of in a phase where I wasn't super interested in cars like I used to be as a kid. I was just starting to get back into them. And I didn't really play Asphalt because of the cars. Like I didn't really know much about cars when I played Asphalt. Aside from what I knew from a kid, but obviously things changed. Like, even though I was a car enthusiast as a kid, most of my knowledge is outdated because cars change really quickly. Having said that, uh, it did not inspire me to become a car guy. What inspired me to become a car guy was Forza Horizon 3, so that's why I kind of talked about it when in my Forza Horizon 3 playthrough. I don't enjoy the Forza, I don't enjoy Forza Horizon 3 anymore, but that's mostly because I played that game to death for all the right reasons. Forza Horizon 3, re like, it reignited the magic that, in my opinion, was why I loved gr the Grand, Ch like, why I loved racing games as a kid. It made me fall in love with not just racing, but it made me fall in love with cars. And I should have flat spin there because I need nitrous for this final run. What the hell? Uh, that was, that was my bad. I apparently crashed into something. That's, that's fine. I, God, I, I'm still not even that great at this game. And I, I definitely, I'm not wounded by that. Because like I said, I don't play games for pride anymore. I'm actually just a YouTuber. I'm an entertainer. And I have a main channel with a lot of, lot of supporters, and that makes me happy. So much supporters that I can actually just live off of it, which is pretty fucking chill if you ask me. So, obviously you guys can pat yourselves on the back because I didn't do that on my own. It's something that I had the support from several strangers on the internet that literally changed my life. And that's why YouTube is a beautiful platform. Like, that's such a weird concept when you think about it. Trying to explain to people in the past that they can make money on the internet doing like whatever they wanted to do and that's really cool and that's why i'm so grateful for everything that's happened and i i like the lamborghini venador too much not to use it i feel like actually this is my favorite car to drive uh the mazda super gt unfortunately it's not very competitive so we're not going to use it so i'll use the aventador instead if i join back i probably won't see that guy oh my gosh the plethora brings back memories too because that car that reminds me back when the game was balanced like back when the trial nemesis was a thing the game was still pretty decently balanced, but now it's just completely gone to shit in my opinion because the Aston Martin ruined a lot of it, but that's okay. Like, the, nothing lasts forever, and in my opinion, Asphalt wasn't in the hand. Like, Forza, it's not even a fair comparison. Forza Horizon blows the fuck out of this game. They have a way stronger community, way better gameplay, and just the overall treatment of the game because it's not a pay-to-win game, first off. The whole design of it is just so much better, and the thing is, that's honestly why I stopped hating Asphalt 8, because I realized I was just playing a bad game the whole time. It wasn't a matter of, I kept blaming the developers, waiting for change, and then I realized that, like, there are evil people in this world who will never change, no matter how much you wait for them to change, and they're gonna stick to shitty methods and do shitty things. However, there are good people who will change and do what they want to do. And I just had to find those people to support instead. I should've just turned to, I should just turn to Forza sooner, or turn to... Gran Turismo even, I should have basically returned to the genre more properly, not just racing games, like, it was weird because like I said, I wasn't really a fan of racing games or cars for most of my life, ever since I was a kid, but then I had a huge fleeting interest phase, but when I came back, <laughs> there's a Camaro and he just braked, he just braked in the uh, Aston Martin's face, which I thought was funny, but I, I guess it took me a while to realize that like, I loved cars again, and the reason I was so mad was because Asphalt was not a good game for a car enthusiast, because for someone who was re-entering the car enthusiast phase, it pissed me off, and that's when I realized that I should play a more proper car enthusiast game, and Forza Horizon 3 was a love letter, like, it's a total love letter for, for car enthusiasts, and it basically reawoken me, and that game single-handedly pulled me out of the fleeting interest phase, because it reminded me of what I wanted as a kid and what I could do to hopefully achieve those. And escaping Asphalt 8 was probably one of the biggest steps in my life. Like, if, if it sounds like I shit on the game too hard, you're talking to one of the, who formerly was one of the best players in this game. Like, I literally ranked in the elite, I, I was in the elite rank for a period of time in this game, so top 100 for multiplayer. It was not worth it. So I don't hate this game because I'm salty that I'm bad at it. No, it was genuinely a waste of time. And I was, I'm was i so glad I've been freed from the nightmare that is this game. Like, holy crap. Like, 
It's safe to say that this is probably going to be the last asphalt video that I'll ever make ever. I deleted all the ones on my main channel because I was sick of people searching for that term. So I was just like, fuck it, I'm gonna delete it so they don't even get any results. And on top of that, I just don't think, like, I wanna move on. I wanna move forward. So this is the last, not just Asphalt 8 video. I'm not gonna play Extreme. I'm not gonna play Asphalt 9. I don't care. It's, it's, fuck, unless the game isn't garbage anymore. If they ever have, like, a, if the, like, I don't know, if they ever have, like, an internal, the structural change like let's say they someday have like you know a lot of the big heads are fired there and someday they they actually make a good game that has good leadership at proper development better community i'll jump right back on board and at that point it might as well not even be labeled asshole anymore because it'd probably be a different game by then but you know what i mean like uh, and that probably won't happen because like i said i'm done waiting for evil people to change and instead we'll just support good people for still being good like there's no point in waiting on someone evil to change when you can just already go to people who are already good and just support them instead so yeah actually making this video just reminded me about how much i love forza horizon 3 i would start up again but i know i i, I try to make a video on the channel i don't really enjoy it that much but i mean to be fair supposedly a new forza horizon is in the works so when that comes out you bet your ass i will be on it until then you can find me in paradise city or even a need for speed payback for a bit since i'm gonna do some games and of course you can always expect weeb trash and if that interests you make sure to subscribe you and for the love of god stop searching blade angel asphalt because your boy quit. Thanks for watching, and thank you for supporting this channel and my whole YouTube career. Because of your guys' support, I can have the courage to say goodbye to this shitty game forever. Because it doesn't give me a sense of pride anymore in the weird way that it weird warped way that it did in the past. As always, see y'all next time. Blade Angel out.